Hey guys, today I wanted to make a video of making a night vision camera and I'm going to assemble all of this together. Um, I'm making a night vision camera using a Raspberry Pi. This is a Raspberry Pi 3A+. It's older but it's also smaller so it'll be able to make the build a little bit smaller than like the Raspberry Pi 4B because it has all these ports here. And I'm using Raspberry Pi's new camera module 3. Uh, this is the no IR one so that I can see in the dark. And I also bought this cheap flashlight off of Amazon. It's an infrared light. So I can't see anything but the camera can. And this flashlight is only temporary. I have another light coming that's supposed to hopefully be a lot brighter. So, because I've been testing this out, um, I just printed this part here, but I've been testing it out with that, and it's not great. So hopefully the new light will be better. This is a case I made, and I 3D printed it. Camera just goes here, and this is the second attempt. I also got the screen cover for it, so that it holds everything in. This is the first attempt, and... The camera was inside and was just stick. Um, it was just on the screen, and it worked, but not very well. And had to be held in together with tape. And I also didn't model it quite right, so I had to cut this out to fit in the screen, because I used um, Tinkercad, and I'm really don't know how to 3D model, so Tinkercad is the best I can do with this stuff. But I think the second one came out pretty good. And I'm going to assemble it together in this. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put the Raspberry Pi on the back of here. And it just goes in like this and then it got screwed in. And these screws are also way too big. So I'm using these washers to hold them down. Uh, because I don't have the smaller screws for this right now. So now the Raspberry Pi is on. So I'm just going to connect the display to it using this little ribbon cable just pops in like that and then the blue part goes on the back here for the display now the display is connected and installed um, gonna grab this little receiver here for the keyboard um, just gonna put that in now I'm gonna take this screw here and just put it on the side here so it's balanced in the case and this is for the ribbon cable for the camera, and then this is to get to the GPIO pins in case, in case I want to add something here in the future. And then on top here is just to access the ports here. And now I'm just going to take the Raspberry Pi camera and feed the ribbon cable through here. It just goes over it. This, little, this uh, case for the camera I just found off Thingiverse and printed it, and the rest of the case here that says Pi Cam, I modeled this part. That just clicks on like that. Now it's ready, and this is held in by just um, some of this uh, thick double-sided tape here. Now that's in, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the Raspberry Pi. One thing to remember is that these two are flipped, so even though it's blue on here, it's not supposed to be blue facing this way. On the camera side, blue faces towards the USB, uh, USB port here. Should just remember that. I'm gonna put a link to this case on Thingiverse and on the description. It only works for the A plus models because I didn't model it for the three or three plus models or the B and B plus models I mean. Uh, because this has much thicker USB ports because it has a lot more it's got Ethernet and This isn't really thick enough for that. It probably would work if um, Some things were modified to make it thinner But right now it's just for the uh, a plus models and Now that's all installed And now it's in now. I got to take this piece that I printed and just put it over here and it's just gonna sit on like this and I could glue it to make it more permanent but there's some other changes I want to make 
So I'm not going to glue it. I'm just going to tape it on there. That way I can make, maybe make this um, a little bit slimmer in here. And I'm just going to use duct tape for that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tape it on there. At least it's just, it should just be temporary. Hopefully everything's plugged in correctly on here. I just remember one thing I need to do, which is kind of create some sort of barrier so then the screen doesn't slide up and down inside of here because it's a little too high up on there. Now it's not going to slide around. So then it's easy to carry around. Now for taping it more. I just realized I taped it on the wrong way. So I'm going to have to open this up again. Now it's on the right side. I just got to put in and now we have this assembled and it's not great, but it works like this. Um, now I got it powered on, and I'll leave a description. I'll leave, I'll leave a link to this touchscreen in the description. It's from Amazon. It's really good. And um, now I need to get the other stuff. Now I also don't have a smaller battery than this right now for this, and. So in the part two, I'll get a smaller battery. Hopefully I can fit it inside of here. That way this can just be really compact and not have a big battery on the side because that's where it's going to go for now. It's just going to go on the side. So let's just put this on. And it's just temporary to keep the battery on. Now it's on there. So I'm just going to grab power cable. Then it's just going to go be plugged in here. Now it's booting up. That's how it looks so far. There, now it's been turned on. The battery's a little low, but that's fine. And just use the keyboard here. And the command to preview, um, the command to preview your camera is just lib camera dash hello dash t zero there it is on there and I'm not sure uh, what the photo and video command is um, so you just hit enter it's gonna take a second to load there we go now it's working and everything is a bit more discolored because it is a night vision camera. And as you can see, I can this obviously my phone can see the infrared light, but not so well during the daytime. But this camera, you'd see it very it, you can obviously see it there it's very visible and eventually I'm going to hopefully have a better infrared light but this is how it looks so far and I'm gonna make the part two about this it, it will be a little bit better so I just got this in the mail um, to add to this this has a uh, 56 infrared LEDs on it I thought I'd try it out and it's got this dial on here to change the brightness. So that's all the way, and then you can put it down to pretty much off. Hopefully this one will work a lot better than the flashlight one. I already returned the flashlight one because it just didn't work that well. Printed this little mount for it too. It's just going to go on the top there. Maybe eventually if I can uh, get this apart, I'll try to fit it inside of here. That way it's just more compact. Um, I also got a smaller display cable and smaller screws. First got to rip off the battery and just disassemble this thing so that I can uh, put in the new stuff. I'm going to get rid of the duct tape and I haven't decided yet but either use this double side tape stuff or just super glue it on. We'll see.
front cover just pops off like that. But we gotta take it off all the way. And now it's apart. Gotta disconnect the camera. Because the camera is connected to that case, so can't take that off without um, trying to pry it off that tape there, the double side tape. Somehow this got loose on here. I don't know how. This new cable is going to be a lot better. It came with the uh, with this display, so I didn't have to buy a new one. And it's just going to be a lot shorter, so it's not getting all, all bent up in there, and it's taking up a little less space. Okay, so now I got the Raspberry Pi off, and this is ready for the new screws. These smaller screws came with the display. I just had these ones on them from um, a previous video of putting on um, a Raspberry Pi 4 on the display to use for RetroPie and as a mini mini computer. Now it's all on there and I'm pretty sure this is going to be wobbly in here um, without the longer screws. And yeah, it's going to be wobbly in there. So to fix that, I need to put these long screws back in just on the, these corners here. That will hopefully um, keep it from being unbalanced inside. Got to take off the little plastic covers they put on here for no reason. I don't know why they put these on here. I'm just going to make them stick out as much as possible too using the washers on there. That way I can keep everything balanced inside. So now it's on there and let's see if it's any better. And it is. Now it doesn't wobble so much in there. But the display is more in than the before. We'll see how that goes. And now that's more out of the way for inside of here. And because when it's inside of there, um, this cable would just bend over to like here. And so this will definitely be better. I just got to put it back in the case. And there's a lot of unused space in here, mostly on this side. Um, maybe eventually I'll figure out how to put a battery inside of here just to make this more compact. But right now, this is just going on the side of here. I put some of the double side tape on here and here. That way it's not moving around when, when you shake it or something. And I'll just keep it steady in there. I think I'm going to just try gluing this on here. Um, I'm going to have to keep it flat for a little bit, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, so this has been glued in place, so if I want to make any future upgrades on this, it's going to suck opening it. But it's a lot more secure than duct tape and it looks a little bit better. So now it's time to mount this on there. Okay, so now I just need to put this on here and it's now going to mount. So this just slides in here and they screw it on. Now adding this definitely made it a lot bigger. But hopefully it's going to be a lot brighter and make things a lot more visible on the screen. So I'll have to try this out at night and see if this uh, this thing improves it at all over the flashlight. Um, and for now, I'm just going to use this battery again, stick it on there. I'm just going to stick this on the back here or on the side. The camera seems to be a tiny bit loose, but that's probably fine. Now, it's a night vision camera. Just gotta wait for night time to try it out. Right now, I'm gonna plug it in. And then to actually use the camera, I just use this keyboard to type in the commands. It's working, and if I turn this on, I don't know if that's it's max brightness. Yeah, that's its max brightness. Hopefully it's easier to see at night. But I'll have to wait to try that out. 